Hello everyone. Uh, I'm not new to YouTube. Uh, I just had some random weird videos put up before. I deleted all of them. I recently got an iPod Touch and I thought it would be cool to do application reviews every once in a while. So I'm going to do some application reviews for you guys. The first one I want to do is for an app called Stanza and it's really cool. It's a free app download from the App Store. It can be used in portrait or landscape mode, which is really nice. I prefer landscape. I think it looks a little bit better. And what it is is a ebook reader. And what's really neat about it is it has this online catalog here. You can go in there, and thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of books in here. And what's really cool is some of them are free. Like, for instance, Project Gutenberg here. You go in there, over 25,000 free ebooks. And it's not just some random weird book you've never heard of or something abstract. We'll go into most popular authors here. And look what we have in here. We have William Shakespeare in here, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's in here, we've got Edgar Allan Poe, Mark Twain, Charles Dickens. I mean, it, there's just Leonardo da Vinci, all kinds of great authors in here. And if you go back out to the online catalog, you can search all catalogs for whichever book you want. Like say for instance, I know people are reading Twilight right now, so we'll type in Twilight and we'll do a search. And it pops up the books and they've got their thumbnails and everything and here's the Twilight book series is on here and you click it and you can this one's you have to pay for it it's buy it now for ten ninety nine or you scroll onto the bottom you can buy it from online from fiction wise you can, which is uh... the ebook version you can go and read the review on it from goodreads and you can actually buy the print version from amazon if you click here it'll take you to amazon's website and you can buy the book in print and they'll send it to you or whatever. Let's take a look at the uh, the reading. So we'll go in here and if you have it in portrait mode and you go into titles it'll have them put in there this way you can see your books. See I've got a couple in here. I've got a bunch of Edgar Allan Poe I've got uh, the Grimm's Fairy Tales and um, Heidi is in here right now and then if you go into this mode it does like a cover flow version of your books you can kind of scroll through those and say we'll go into the complete Brothers Grimm fairy tales and this was totally free and here it is and you don't have to worry about scrolling up and down it's just there and when you want to change the page you tap this side and it'll go right to the next page you can swipe if you want but I don't really see any reason to do that you just tap them back and forth like this then if you press right in the center of the screen it pops up the menu and then settings is down here, you hit settings and you can change the text color if you want and there are probably about a hundred or so different colors of text if you want there is background color, you can go through all those and there's just as many of those and you can reverse it if you want so you know like standard book black text on white background and uh, I think it's a little easier on my eyes to read white text on black background but then you can set it up however you want for uh, whatever you want you can change the font there's a bunch of different fonts you can choose from uh, the font size you can uh, change those here make those whatever size you want you can change the uh, alignment if you want it if you want your uh, left, right, centered, or justified so it's even on both sides, like put on left like a normal book and it'll look like a normal book, or justify I think looks the best, so that's what I leave mine on. You can change the line spacing, like how much uh, space you want in between the lines. So, depending on where you set that, you can have more or less on your screen. You can uh, change your margins the same way. Oops. 
this, my only uh, complaint with it so far is that these sliders are really hard to, to get a hold of but then once you get a hold of them so you can change your margins to whatever you want I leave mine just a little bit of space on the sides and book rotation you can lock that so if you don't want it when you tip it it won't switch with I don't know why you want to do that you can hide your phone status if you're on a on a iPhone you can take that menu bar off you can hide the toolbars automatically and then here it just says when you tap the left screen left side of the screen it goes back and forward or whatever so then let's let's get out of here and then see the settings I've changed I get I've got more on a page now and it's kind of a neat effect if you have it in uh, portrait mode when you go to change the page it does like a page kind of curl thing and I think that's kind of cool looking I wish it did that in landscape mode but uh, it doesn't but it's not a big deal it's just kind of a cool little thing to have and then just go right through your whole books and then you can pop this here and hit this book and you can add a bookmark in here and now that's bookmarked so you can come at any time you can go into your bookmarks and say oh well I wanted to you know go to a different chapter you can go to the Little Red Riding Hood so we'll go there and then it'll load that story right away it's really neat program and it's totally free there's a link in the description to uh, go right to the iTunes store and uh, download link so if you guys uh, want to go download this it's there for free again uh, lots of free books you know you can sort in your thing by titles, authors, subjects and the latest things you've read are in here too and uh, again this is Stanza for the iPod Touch and iPhone. It is a free download in the App Store and uh, I suggest if uh, you like reading and you don't like carrying books around with you you can get a new book anytime you want using this and uh, you'll have a, have a good time with this. And this has been my first application review. I hope you guys liked it and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe and uh, I'll be adding uh, some more videos shortly.